definitely not going away. Uh, and we still have a lot of work to do to, to try to address this as a community. Another weekend filled with gunfire in Portland, more victims hit and another person killed. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haverly. Reports of gun violence continue to come in this weekend with another shooting reported in Portland's Old Town neighborhood last night. Although there were no victims reported in that case, there were four homicides reported this past week alone, all involving shootings. Coin 6 is Jennifer Dowling. She is digging deeper tonight into these cases and what police are saying tonight about these numbers. Jennifer. Well, Wayne, they are holding steady or slightly increasing over the same time last year, January to January this year. The numbers are slightly up and there was another shooting in Old Town last night at around five o'clock and our uh, camera uh, crew was there to capture it. Uh, they saw several bullet casings on the ground near the 600 block of Northwest 6th Avenue. That shooting disrupted the MAX train for two hours. Sergeant Kevin Allen says the stats show that the problem is not going away and the gun violence that ramped up in 2021 continues to remain high in 2022. We recorded 116 shootings this year compared to 104 of uh, January of last year. Um, if you look at last year, there were 33 people injured by gunfire in the month of January. This year, it's 34. Um, so what that tells me is that, you know, our continuing gun violence is indeed continuing. And in addition to the shooting Saturday night, one person was shot and killed in the Argy Terrace neighborhood Friday. Police identified the victim in that case as 44-year-old Corey M. Ide. And early Saturday morning, another man was shot on Hayden Island. Police say that shooting happened at around 1.30 in the morning on North Hayden Island Drive. Police say the man was seriously injured but is expected to survive. No arrests have been made in either case. Now, Sergeant Allen said, again, there's still a lot of work to do as community to curb this continuing increase in gun violence. Reporting live in Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News. Yeah, the entire community has a lot of work to do, no doubt about it.